Well, an excellent result tonight, Kieran. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, good result. Um, a bit disappointed in the way that we conceded the two goals, but overall scoring three goals away from home, coming away with three points is good. It's a tough ending to the match, wasn't it? Yeah, well, when you go up in a place like this, they've got nothing to lose, being three one down. So they were obviously going to throw everything at us. So I thought, I thought that other than the two two goals, I thought we defended pretty well. What does that say about the side's game management to hold on? Um, it's great because a lot of games you see that when they score to get back to 3-2 with five minutes left it's easily some some teams will concede an equaliser so to stand up to it and to come away with a win is really good. It's certainly an end-to-end -end game but we created a lot of chances didn't we? Yeah, um, I think obviously when we scored the second they, they were going for it, they wanted to obviously they want to win as well and left a lot of gaps for us and I think we exploited them pretty well. Gaffer changed the shape a little bit during the match and pushed you further forward. How did you find this role? Um, yeah, I've played in uh, like a number ten role or just behind a striker before, and I think um, I think my physical presence in there made a big difference. Um, and obviously, getting a penalty, winning the penalty was a bonus. Talk us through this penalty. You'd, you'd got forward. What happened? Yeah, um, I went and got the ball to feet from a throw. Uh, I turned and was running down, running along the byline, and. Um, tried to tackle me, I put my foot in front of the ball and he's gone through me. So you switched to four at the back and then at the ending it was forced with you, Rico and Champion to really push on and defend, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Obviously they're gonna throw everything at it. You might as well lose four if you're gone if you're free if you've already conceded three. So for them they had to push on to try and get a result and um, obviously we had to track our men. And then you're throwing midfielders forward um, we have to obviously track them and get back. When you've got the likes of Angelo Blanta, Bruno Andrade and Joe Quigley in front of you, this must, must make your creative job a lot easier. Yeah, obviously, as soon as I pick up the ball, I know that there's going to be runners. I know Angelo's always going to show feet and I know Bruno's always going to try and get him behind. So my job is just to get them the ball. Um, if I can get them the ball, then um, we'll create chances, definitely. And be this sort of mixture of physique and guile in the middle. Yeah, yeah obviously, I'm... Um, um, big and strong but I can I can also play which is good. In terms of the playoff chase this leaves us in fifth and it's an excellent position to be in isn't it? Yeah definitely obviously with the weekend um, in the trophy we'll be in fifth hopefully well definitely when we go when we go into our next uh, league match so that's great for us we need to now solidify it don't slip out again and stay there and try and push on push on up the table again. And you'll be looking to fight on in a second front in the trophy? Yeah definitely um, it's it's a game at Wembley if you get to the final, which no one can turn their nose up at, so we'll be fighting hard to get there.